Welcome back. New episode of The Wholesome House. We got two new guests on the episode today. We talked about some very interesting topics. Uh, We talked about what AP class would you create if you had the opportunity to? What would be the requirements to get into there? Uh, How do you know that you've made it in life? You know, what what milestones do you have to reach or what perspective in mind do you have Is you getting bread? Is you getting money? Right. Um, What else did you talk about? Talked about strays being thrown. Catching strays. You ever been, you know, next to somebody and then somehow you became the topic of conversation even though it wasn't even meant for you? you Cooking. You was minding your business and then just got roasted. Cooking. What else we got in store? It's coming soon. Tap in. 104. 103. Yeah. It's 100 some. <laughs> <laughs> It's crazy, bro. My first thought was that your computer's not here, so I'm feeling like super, I'm feeling super open. Right, the camera's just directly in front of you. Just on me, bro. Talk about nothing else to focus on. I'm saying, bro, I feel like I gotta cover my face. I'm saying I can't be mysterious. It's like, nah. Oh, so you just want to go into it? <laughs> I, mean, I was going to let the beat run a little bit. Dang, I know, you know. Is, this, like, is this a different type of intro, bro? You hey. got the brand new. You got the... <laughs> yeah, bro. You're like, ooh, I can't wait. We got these special guests on the show. Oh, my bro, I'm goodness. so excited, bro. I'm ooh. so excited. Nah, man. Nah, I'm excited, though. I'm excited for this brand new limited edition. Not really limited. We here every week, bro. You know, fresh out the box episode of the Wholesome House podcast. I can't get no, yeah, I'm saying, man, yeah, yeah, man. You know what I'm saying, man? Another great Wednesday, you know what I'm saying? Before I even get into anything, bro, please tap in with our YouTube. Please tap in with our Twitch. Definitely the Twitch. Shout out to the Twitch. I'm on there playing WWE, all types of stuff. Yeah. I, I tried to hop in your, your stream, bro. Hey, I was struggling today. <laughs> hey, th- today was not an accurate representation of what a, a Zebra stream is like. I'm I'm really trying to start this uh, competition with Ben because Ben Ben doesn't game. He be getting like 59 views and stuff. He's going to have to change his I'm name, bro. Yeah, so we trying ben to. Ben does game. On me, bro. So I'm, I'm on his way, bro. <laughs> No facts, but um, it's one of your hosts with the most, man. Wave Master J, Wavy J, man. Shout out to my man's uh, March uh, behind the camera today, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You can't see him, but on his Freddy biz, but he's here, bro. Hey, we was cook- we was cooking up last week. Hey, that's we ain't even gonna get into that. We ain't gonna get into that. Who we who we got it? Who we got to the right of me, bro? Uh, Z Breeze here. I'm excited for the new episode today. Um, yeah, got my man's Ben. Hope he feel better, man. Shout out Ben. He was out here fighting with, you know what I'm saying, like these astronauts in space. They didn't try to like mace him. And then, you know, his voice, his, uh, voice a little strained. But, yeah, he coming back. Yeah, you should see the other guy. They're in the hospital right now. Um, <laughs> alien, alien mace is crazy, bro. Hey, I see he a warrior man fighting through it, bro. Still here to edit the video. Nah, but, uh, yeah, yeah this is on me. But uh, yeah, who else we got in the uh, building? We got some. We got a couple special. A couple guests. special. Oh, a return. Yes. A returning guest yeah. right here. Been been coming back. They just call me Marcellus. No cool nicknames. Still haven't de- developed one of those yet. So if y'all out there and got one for me, let me know. <laughs> Leave it down in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> What's his nickname? Uh, my name's Chris. I don't. I also don't have a cool nickname. Drop Hello, the IG. You know, they call me C dot. C dot bars. Campus on Michigan State. So you know. Let's go. Off with that. Come on, man. I like that. So uh, we can get right into it, man. Um, I actually got this from a, um, a YouTube reel I was watching okay, at work today. Um, it was a little skip, but, um, you know, we all, you know, graduated some years ago now, but. Except for one. Yeah, I'm still waiting. Type. I got a month. I got a month. <laughs> but we had. um, um Different types of classes, you know what I'm saying? You got your honors classes, you got your APs, you know, you might have your AP physics, if you was, you know, that type brainy. You got your AP world, which was like one of your safe joints, you know what I'm saying? If you wanted to take an AP, you know what I'm saying? AP bio, if you was just... My school didn't offer AP classes. Well, we have like two. That's the same. I was definitely in AP (laughs) English and maybe, I think, AP math. But I don't think they had anything beyond that. What the hell are you doing AP English, bro? 
And the same, no, no, I just like, oh, said the same thing they was doing in regular English. <laughs> I was going to make a joke. I was going to say, had you reading like two books at the same time, you just had them in your hands. I don't even know. I think we would just like read it, uh, doing more vigorous book reports and comparisons like the other classes. Like, that's your first time doing a 10 page paper. You know? Oh, yeah. Like, oh my God, this AP format, I mean, APA format, what is this? MLA? It's having a structure to structure the background, bro. literally, bro. Easy bit failing you, man. <laughs> easy sight. <laughs> hey, hey, shout out to the easy bit. I ain't heard that in a minute, bro. Man, bro, that's how. That's like um, trying to cheat on like a Spanish quiz, and then like they. This is clearly broken language. Bro. Right. You definitely put this into Google. You probably put it in Google. You just breaking it down, bro. And then you like, how did you know? Like Google don't never fail me. It's right. Like, Google can't translate that well. Like, I wonder how never. good Chat GPT is now with with like. Google Translate, you know? I wonder if they're better than, than Google Translate at the... If I put in a paper in English and, like, translate it to Spanish for me, I wonder how good they could be. What's chat GPT? You don't know All right, what's up with you, bro? Oh, no. no it's, show, it's showing your age right here, Zach. Dang. But it's like it's like a website, and it's like an AI. So, like, funny enough, like, this some, this some week, X stuff? This some Twitter stuff? Nah, it's a, it's an app, bro. You, you can like get on app, your you phone. Where y'all hear about it at on Twitter? Nah, just mm-hmm. social media. I it's, guess Twi- uh, not it, Twitter. I'm not on Twitter. It's talking about it online, bro. TikTok, all right. Yeah. See, I don't be on there for real either. We be using it in school. Same. I'm not gonna lie, people be writing full papers with it. Help you with code too. Wow. Yeah. So this is just like next level stuff. Like, you can, yeah, you can sure. ask it anything. Yeah. It'd be like, you know. Yeah. You it, it's, it's, it's only, it's only. Yeah. I was gonna say it, like for sure, like it goes to a certain limit. Like it'll only say like. um I forget like the the month and year it said, but they were like anything prior to like this. It like it can't um it can't figure it so. It's a bit limited, but it's a lot. Like any general like type thing you're trying to find out, yeah. Yeah. ask them, bro. So y'all didn't been on there? Yeah. yeah. I'd be thanking Chad GBT. I'd be like, I appreciate you, bro. <laughs> yeah, I'd be very respectful. What's what's something that you've you've asked it? Um This is this is astonishing to me. This is like saying we like walked on the moon for the first time. So like I was ty- I was making me and Sequoia a website for our wedding. Okay. And like one of the things was like for the for the website it was like um like your story, you got to tell your story. And me, I write just how I talk. This is how I talk. I'm gonna write. It's not gonna sound good. I put in two little paragraphs, three sentences. Sound each. good to me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> and I um and I put it in ChatGPT, four four paragraphs, like six sentences each, and it sounded sweet. But then it was too smart for me. She was gonna know I didn't type it, so I typed in there. Can you make it sound like a normal person typed it? Dumbed it down for your boy. Really? Yeah, fire. I didn't even know it could do that. Yeah, that's so crazy. You- See, I didn't even, when I use it, like, I used it to apply to school, so, like, I had to write, like, personal Put your mic closer. Stuff. Put your mic closer. So, I would, like, I would say, I would write my personal statement in it, and I'd, like, can you make this sound better? And it would just write it for me. And I got into a doc program with it, so. What we gonna wow. do on chat, GBT, start, start sending cash app requests? <laughs> <laughs> like, where my bread? Damn. Okay. I've asked about job stuff for sure. I've been like, if I want to do, like, XYZ thing, like, how do I do it? And they had, like, a real comprehensive list. If like try this thing, add this, or you know, add this to your resume, personal statement, whatever. You know what I'm saying? It's got everything, bro. And I be thanking them, like, hey bro, I appreciate you. You talking about any time, bro. I'm trying to be one this of the good ones. I'm trying to be one of the good ones once the iRobot <laughs> stuff. They take happen, over, bro. bro. I'm, this is like, crazy, bro. You always thank me whenever <laughs> you ask me for something, bro. I feel like I'm definitely gonna be one of those like uh like six year old, seven year olds, so just talking about like how back in the day it was better, and they just can't get with the times, can't teach it, oh dog new tricks. These kids can't read any books. Yeah, I'm gonna just be like they just <laughs> just are always on that internet, like <laughs> they can't. That's actually me right now at 27. Yeah, uh, bro, it's bad. It's getting it's, it's bad. getting bad quick, it's, bro, bro. It's bad. Like the last two years, I feel like I didn't fell out the loop of everything. It can't be that far off. Nah, it is. Chris, I told you the other day I was at Wendy's and my mom wanted me to download the app for her, and I hate downloading apps. I download the app. Could not figure out how to work. The, the, could not figure it out. <laughs> I'm like, in a minute, I'm going to just pay more. <laughs> I'm going to lie to her. I downloaded the app because I could not figure it out, bro. I'm going to ask the lady for help, but she was rude as hell. You're lying, no, man. bro. I promise you. No. <laughs> it really uh, don't feel like we bro, that far off. Them, them captures, bro. <laughs> I swear to this day, bro. I'm at work today, bro. I'm trying to get into this thing, bro. I'm, I work It's a that job. fire hydrant that gets you. Bro, the bridges. <laughs> <laughs> or like the motorcycle bro and then it's like this much of the tire look Troy this much of the tire is in the other frame I'm like do I click it or not because <laughs> technically that's a part of it yeah like, but maybe I'm being OD click on everything that's in the crosswalk yeah bro I'm just like man can you just I do, do, I do the audio now because I'm just like I'm not gonna even play with the pictures <laughs> no more so it's just like 
But three years ago, what if the Vegas, audio is just like click on the picture? <laughs> 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 bro, then I just, like, bro, what is wrong with you? I just shake my computer really hard and fast, vigorously. I mean, that's is what that it, doing? What, until it did I get you through turn it? off and then I turn it back on. I don't know if that fixes anything though. Yeah, I don't know what that it, does for you. I mean, it wouldn't have fixed it either way. The way I'm not getting into it, <laughs> they don't got no way around it, bro. You just can't get on there if, if you look like a robot. Zach, I'm worried for you, bro. I'm out there looking like a bot, man. It just you already looking like one. If that's that's the case. Case. <laughs> that's insane, bro. I just bro. can't win. But but, 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 but no, nah, yeah, the circle circle back, bro. Um, we got different types of classes. So I was thinking, you know, if you had to develop your own curriculum for like an AP class, like one that hasn't already been kind of introduced, like what would you, what would you have yourself doing? So like, for example, if you had to do like an a, AP uh, physical education class, like would you be having to do like a hundred laps in the pool? You know what I'm saying? That <laughs> to, to pass, bro, you got to do like, um, I don't know, like 25, 30 pull-ups. Yeah, for an AP class, you definitely probably got to be like, because you know, with like the strongman competitions are just like, just to be considered a strong dude, like you're supposed to be able to lift a thousand pounds mm -hmm. between your bench, your squat, and your. Uh, what are you doing? Mm -hmm. Yeah, between a thousand like combined, like all combined the okay. three different lifts. Okay. Yeah, so bench, squat, and uh, deadlift, <laughs> or at least three hundred and thirty, three hundred thirty-three. Or if you can, you know, divvy it up to make it like maybe your legs are stronger than your upper body. Okay. You can squat 400 and only bench 200. But the three have to equal a thousand. Like that's the standard. Like if you like are the prototype of a man, like, you know, you six foot, 200 pounds, like just like dominant. I mean, you I'm, 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 I'm chubby now at this point. Chubby's but, crazy. But uh, yeah, or even like Matt, like he five nine, but he like 185, like 5% body fat, like some crazy <laughs> stuff. Like. Yeah, like your lifts got to equal that. Um, so the AP class, I feel like in high school, it's a little crazy. You can't be on no like a thousand pound stuff because that's a grown man. But I say probably like 750 between those three. And I don't then, know what high school you went to. You over there reading super, super, super yeah. athletes. So so this AP, but this you know AP, saying? this AP physical fitness class, like exactly. this ain't no gym class. You ain't doing no ten minute like run. This, you like ain't doing like, no one mile. Like you know passing. what I'm saying. So this is somebody that plans on in the future. Like you know what I'm saying. Once they go to college, like, like they want credit for this. You know what I'm saying. Y'all took AP like health science. I mean, so health what's class. the career that this person would go into then if they take <laughs> AP for that? Athlete, Athlete. <laughs> personal trainer, personal trainer. Because uh, I was also coach. gonna say, because you know, it's it's physical education, so I feel like it would, it would also be like you know, what I'm saying quite health a bit science. of like health science, um, cardio respiratory therapy, like you know, mm -hmm. okay. hey, all type of things. Hey, this hey, this is a real thing, but yeah, I would definitely say like seven fifty. So seven fifty, yeah, that's like two fifty everything. There are there are plenty of high school athletes who can bench press two hundred and fifty pounds for one rep. All these are, are one rep maxes. Yes. So okay. it's like, yeah. And then squat, most people can squat more than they can bench press. So they can do yeah. more than that. And then deadlift is the easiest lift to do if you got good form. That's how I threw my back out. <laughs> but if you got good form, you usually can't go like, crazy. I feel like each month you had a different injury. I'm saying, There's bro, I'm, I'm really. Something new every time. Who, who like one of the most injured athletes? I'm like. Greg Oden. Greg Oden. Yeah, I was got thinking Greg Oden. Hey, but I had, I had a little bit of time. Like, I ain't just come in just garbo. <laughs> it was more like. Um, Current day Kawhi. That's too good. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Brandon Roy. Yeah. Yeah. I'm on some Brandon Roy stuff, man. But it's or even like who who played for the Pistons? Uh something guard um I don't know. What's that dude that played for the Pistons? Um he was a shooting guard, Gordon. Something Gordon. Ben Gordon. Ben Gordon. Ben Gordon. Yeah, I'm like Ben Gordon. Hot he used to be going, hey, he used to be going crazy in exactly. 2K, hey, bro. 40 point, he'll give you 40. <laughs> get, drop, other dude dropping 45 on you. No defense on that guy. Hey. It was ridiculous. Thanks. So, um, like, back to your original question, though. So, would it be selective on, like, how good you are at each sport, too? Like, because I know in my high school we had we had different classes for gym. So, we had, like, really? duo, duo sports. So, it was, like, one and two, like, uh, sports. And then we had advanced basketball. And then we also had team sports. So like, are it's you gonna definitely it's gonna be a little testing. You know what I'm saying <laughs> to get in. You yeah. know what I'm saying. Like it's got to be some type because you you just gonna get cooked if you're not happy. You just like all right, I'm gonna yeah, go. Yeah, I'm, I'm just like, taking AP phys ed. Tomorrow. Like this easy one. I'm like all right, bro. He haven't. I need 200 pushups right now, bro. <laughs> on, me. on the spot. <laughs> on the spot, bro. No warm up. No, don't try and stretch it. 
shoulders out. Nah, like, go no ahead, bro. That's crazy. That's how people no do tearing stuff. <laughs> right. Hey, <laughs> bro. I do a, crazy. Um, you just also want us to name like our own classes, I guess, that we would do. So yeah, if you had if you had anything else. Yeah, I would say like a AP. I want to say strategy, but guess to make it more real life, like critical thinking, like AP critical thinking class. Like logic. Yeah. I don't want to say logic because logic just is terrible. <laughs> but just like critical logic thinking is so kind of like. Bro. Hey, bro! Shout out to logic, bro. <laughs> this, do it even make sense? Hey, Yo, I know Burns, I'm not black, bro. bro. Ben, Ben, know what I'm talking about, bro. Yeah. I know I'm not black, right? He's half black. Huh? Nothing. <laughs> oh, Zach, wait. You don't know he's half black? Yeah. Oh, okay. I was yeah, that's, that's what I was. That's what I'm it's over your head, bud. It's over your head. Oh, all right. <laughs> Meet me, me um, right there. What was I finna say? Um, yeah, a critical thinking class or strategy class because I feel like problem solving is like really the number one thing you need as an adult now. Like. A lot of like, I guess, like everyday knowledge really don't matter at this point. It's just your ability to deal with this moment and make the best out of this situation. So I feel like a lot of board games or even just like strategy based games would sharpen, you know, each other's intellectual level. So yeah. just playing games like that against each other, like chess or uh, shogi or advanced card games because i always say spades but i'm like spades five, <laughs> you only can get so good at spades when it's just still kind of just like the matter of your hand but games that it's like totally just like brain power based have an ap class like that you really gonna have like uh the queen's gambit mm -hmm. you gonna have some like level 190 iq kind of people just like you know coming out the seams because you know they've had a platform to sharpen that kind of skill yeah where it's like if you don't got nothing like that it's like it could be a genius who just be bored at school and then he getting seized because he just don't care. And it's like, you don't even know. But, you know, you made this little game out of it. Now, wow, your potential really, like I see your, like on my scouter, like I can see like you over 9,000. Facts. I know, exactly. Kind of yeah. like, I feel like kind of to bounce off the critical thing, I feel like I would do like an AP, almost like a life thing. Because I feel like when I graduated high school, I, they were just kind of like, go figure it out. Mm -hmm. I was like, I was blessed to have like people who in my corner, like who knew what to do. Mm -hmm. But man, if I didn't, I feel like they just like, all right, you just go be an adult. So then I guess what would it be like the, uh, the prerequisite to get into the, uh, AP life class? Like whether you got to show them that you were already good at <laughs> I'm graduating. I was going to say, you got to show you got some type of, you know what I'm saying? Merit, or you have some type of desire to, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Better your situation. If you just kind of <laughs> you just too burn out, bro, they gonna be like, bro, I don't know if we can help you, bro. All right, so it'll be like a only uh, offered the last semester before yeah you Something graduate. Like like, so it's like yeah, gotta have a hundred and two credits. You gotta be on your way out the door. Yeah, yeah, that's valid. I think I would do like an AP Streets class. So like, <laughs> how you go, how how you go this, get to school for so, how, like, how would this work, bro? So yeah, basically, bro. what I'm thinking is right. I went to a predominantly white school, right? So it's a lot of white now. kids went to the school who wanted to be in the streets. No wonder y'all had that many gym classes. <laughs> but I'm keep going, bro. Bro I had advanced we had basketball, that, we had bro. We than two, bro. That's crazy. Bro. <laughs> um, so, but in the class, it's gonna teach them how to survive because a lot of white kids that I grew up with wanted to be in the streets. <laughs> it's gonna teach them how to survive the streets. That's what's gonna be. And, you know, I think the prerequisites you got to have, you got to come for money because I'm, I'm taxing to get into class. Taxing. <laughs> <laughs> so you got to have the money high school to course. <laughs> they said ta your tax dollars are not enough, bro. Yeah. Oh. So that's what I would do for sure. You got to no pay way. to get in. You know what? No so you just turn this into oh. a business. <laughs> <laughs> the superintendent is me doing that. <laughs> no, Honestly, bro, get a few people on TikTok posting about this class. They probably oh, be like, what? Right. Get Keith Lee to eat like some pizza puffs from Little Caesars on, <laughs> while in your class learning. Hey, you might, you might make that's insane, bro. bro the certified. Pizza he can't come to the class. <laughs> He's certified crazy. already. He's from, he from Detroit. He's cool. He can't. He can't even make a guest appearance. Why can't he make a guest appearance in a nah, class that's gonna teach him about life? Nothing. He, maybe. Who you, you gonna have in there, Jeezy? <laughs> <laughs> nah, logic. Logic gonna come to the yeah, oh my God. Wait. So what's the AP test that they gotta take to like you know? What they it, gonna what? drop him off in the streets and yeah. they gotta survive. <laughs> <laughs> my gosh, bro. <laughs> <laughs> they're not gonna be buying sixty dollar. Hopefully, they're more. signing some waivers or there's some type of you know. <laughs> I think you could really make this a reality TV show. Oh, for sure. Just like. <laughs> What would you do? <laughs> Street edition. It's gonna be like it's gonna be like a, like a video. You know the videos you used to watch in class. It'd be like Johnny is gonna go buy this weed from such and such. It's usually twenty dollars a bag. <laughs> he just got told eighty dollars. What should he do? And it's gonna give him like multiple choices to so he can navigate that. 
Okay, and he have to just select like what's the best yeah. decision based off of his experience. He probably don't pick. Jug, bro. <laughs> yeah, about, <laughs> talking about sixty seems great. Seems like a deal. You gonna watch out for them while they out there? Oh, like no. they just gotta come no, back no, and no, no that it's all you cheating on the test. You're a proctor. You had to you had to have on just like a <laughs> no way. If you have you had to have proctors for the exams. He gonna have he gonna have some cameras. How are they set disguising up? themselves? They what got you? South Pole jeans. I relax. <laughs> but I'm saying like <laughs> Fubu shirts. So are they only African Americans who are the proctors? Nah, are you getting? Uh, I just cool. said the clothes. <laughs> oh, so <I'm> just, <laughs> how would they blend in? You know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> so I did just assume that they were people of color. You were lugs boots. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm saying if you just drop, say what I'm saying like what street you dropping them off on? Just say it's street. I don't know. Six mile. I don't be the streets for real. So okay. I don't know. You drop them off on Six Mile, right? Would you not have to have a certain demographic of proctor to blend in in this environment to watch over the <laughs> the proceedings? You would. No, sure. Okay, so as you know, I say, are there limitations to the people that you could put as proctors given the certain the environment? There's got to be, right? Yeah, no, there has to, to blend be. in to for them to not know some weird stuff going on. No, there has to be for sure. So, yeah, I, you need some more safety regulations. <laughs> Fago in hand. Fago in hand. Better made than the other. Better uh, made smack. Arguing on the phone, Shut up. FaceTime, FaceTime in public. That's FaceTime, right listening, listening to music off a of PSP, just out loud. That's crazy. <laughs> I didn't even know you. could I do seen that. somebody at Target the other day <laughs> <laughs> playing some music off their phone, bruh. Oh. It really took me back. Like just was playing it out as I was walking out of Target. Was walking in. I'm just like, bruh. This I'm, off. Yes, I'm headphones, bro. At least get the cheap skull candies or something. <laughs> nah, bro. I was in high school. One of my homeboys back in the day had a little speaker he clipped on his backpack, walking on the bus playing at seven seven o'clock in the morning. Chief Ooh, Keith, yeah. Chief Keith, bang seven o'clock. Uh, fine, Chief Keith at seven famous. o'clock. Yeah, that's too much, bro. Yeah, it's yeah. heavy in the morning. The bus driver, can you turn it down? He just, nah, I'm cool. I walk to the back of the bus playing the music. <laughs> And bus drivers can't do anything, bro. That's they got no I, I think I had a bus driver beat up a kid, got, got, <laughs> got eliminated from the school district. Dunzo, career over. Are you going to risk your career because a kid, a five year old or seven year old, being disrespectful to you? Not seven, but if we like 15, yeah. 13. 13, yeah. You would lose your job. Oh, for wow, sure. Really? For sure. I don't know. I'll I'm get not, rehired. I'm not in no kid, bro. <laughs> nah, at 13, at 13, you just purposely being disrespectful. Nah. And it's like they don't, they don't. So you just go show them. <laughs> Hey listen yo He said I'm taking matters in my own hands He said better me than somebody else bro He said this all part it's of the lesson. street it's He said this all part of the streets class bro You can't try like, that with somebody bro No nah, you can't bro so You go off the bus You go really You know what I'm saying Part of the course Like you saying You say something wrong You might end up on a t-shirt So me beating you at that age, I'm doing you a favor. On a gilding. You, you this is this is uh, American apparel. What do they call it? Okay, there's positive reinforcement, negative reinforcement. Um, there's four of them from psychology class. You're still in school. Positive punishment and negative punishment. Um, I'm not a psych major though. So yeah, you know, I, don't, I, can't I only remember. took I only took intro in lifestyle development and child something. I really only thought it was positive reinforcement and negative reinforcement. No, it's two more. Positive punishment and negative punishment, I think Ben's right. But you were just talking about beating them earlier. Yeah. To, yeah, so that'd be, would that be negative reinforcement? Yeah. I think so. You're above me, buddy. I think that might be negative punishment. Anyway, it doesn't matter. But, yeah, it's like you have to show them a little taste of it so they know that this is not something that they want to come further. Yeah, exactly. That's some psych stuff. I respect that. I, I'm, I'm not doing it, but I get it. No, I- I feel like I'm just going again, like I would probably throw I ain't going to lie I probably would damage their property though. All right. You know just like if he if I told you to take this they turn it off you ain't turn it off. All right. And I'll be real devious with I'm just date their mama. I'm they going to wake up. I'm coming out the mama bedroom creaking oh. out the bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> That's the ultimate disrespect. That's just crazy, bro. Nah, you're horrible. Is nah. that like count for extra credit for him? <laughs> nah, that's, yeah, I, you lose points <clears throat> at that point. You lose points. <laughs> you let me in your crib. Right, you lose points. <laughs> <laughs> that's insane, bro. Bro finna fail the class. I'm bro. <laughs> He's definitely going to the eighth grade. <laughs> at the bare minimum, <laughs> right? He's talking about you, you're getting you, double promoted. Can, bud. You, can you get held back by the school district before high school? Ain't that yeah. like ain't that like your parents' decision? No, nah, I think the school can do it. I guess maybe that's a it's different by depending on your school district. But I think like in my school district, like your 
at a, up until a certain age, your parent like has determination over that. So some kids, that's heavy, just, bro. Some kids just that's get promoted just because your parents feel bad and don't want you to lag behind. So they really? just pushing you up to the next one, even though like if the school district had full capability, they would have. That's not allowed it. It was like literally every year our class would get smaller and smaller. In like, high school, middle school? Nah, middle school. Wow. What like, middle school did you go to? Avondale. Just, uh, mm, I promise Avondale. you, bro. Like we were literally the same kids we would go in with. It's like it's at least five a year. Where they go? Still in sixth grade. <laughs> You're lying. I promise. <laughs> no way. I, I refuse to, to believe God. people getting held back. I to swear to God. Yeah, yo. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody <laughs> gotta look at the teachers at that point, bro. Something's <laughs> going on, bro. I mean, that kids not getting it. I ain't yeah, gonna lie. A lot of people got held back in middle school. Hey, no, I was like, for me, so what are we doing? Like four, probably the eighth. Like for sure was losing. Like four or five. But it's, uh, you would think and I'm like, bro, we was now. best friends. We was yeah. best friends. But then you know that one year difference be a lot in middle school, and high school. So you like, I can't so hang like, out imagine with more that, dumb, bro. You, huh? Imagine y'all hanging out, bro. He just like, I'm going this way, bro. <laughs> tell me, my my <laughs> class is in this wing. I'm talking about dang. <laughs> We're talking about, this, bro, we finna do that new project. It's eighth grade. Like, we finna graduate, go to high school. They talking about, I ain't, what are you talking about? You talking about. I'm telling you. Yeah. Sixth to fifth grade. Sports sixth teams sixth no to more. fifth grade would be crazy, bro. Yeah, exactly. Speaking exactly. of sports teams. You still in, you still. <laughs> you still elementary school. You still have a recess, bro. bro. Still have a recess, bro. <laughs> you still have You just cat. playing around. You got one teacher all day. <laughs> bro, I knew one cat. So, when my, when my dad was from, right, it was like a real small town. You oh, play, you play football. Based on the grade and weight, this one kid got held back like four times, and he still was underweight. So he was like fourteen, playing with like eight year olds, but he still was skinny. <laughs> <laughs> but he was playing hey, on all hey, rookie hey, mode, hey, bro. Hey, hey, funny, that is got funny. That's that's it's funny, it's funny, funny. Bro. <laughs> Parents was asking, "Where's the birth certificate at?" Bro, no, they, like it was all based on grade and weight. That's insane. So it didn't matter how like old you were. No way, that's a lot. I promise you, bro. Shout out, shout out, Union City. Bro's mind was. Union City is crazy. Bro, mine was just in a totally different place to them, bro. Like, I'm just sitting oh, here thinking, like, sure. like, what's going on in the huddle, bro? <laughs> they they give me the ball, get out my way. Yes, That's bro. What's going and on they just, huddle. okay. That's crazy. Like, bro. <laughs> nah, you said 14, bro. <laughs> probably, it's a true story, bro. Oh, man. That's horrible. I feel bad for them kids, man. Oh, for sure. Could you imagine, like, you just get done with a hard week at school, and you got to think, you look out on the field, you just, well, he's probably like, Five eight, five nine, fourteen. Yeah. You just probably like four or something. You like I gotta go guard him. They put him on like middle linebacker or yeah. running back, quarterback, That's everything. It's horrible. Oh, for sure. How do little kids even catching the ball from him? Cause he throwing heaters in there. <laughs> they and they're just. <sighs> I, I ain't gonna lie. I mean, he's running it every time. He just <laughs> oh, yeah. right. he's scrambling every play. Facts. They say, bro, he still he still got records. They broke. <laughs> They were broken yet in his age. He probably still bragging about it now. Bro, yes, Somebody he said, used to bro. Be the man, when I was four, I was an MVP. I was, I was, bro. Jacket, bro. I was season playoff MVP. I I'm had like, six bro. girlfriends. <laughs> Later, <laughs> bro. <laughs> Not just kidding. Yo. I was the only one with a mustache, bro. Man, you know, I, had, I had leg hair, I had leg a mustache, hair, bro. <laughs> mustache, bro. Oh For some reason, all the parents hated me. I don't know why, you know. <laughs> Talk about, they just gave me the meanest look, bro. Never mind. We we, we went to uh, like my freshman year of high school. We played we played Pontiac High in basketball. <laughs> These dudes had tattoos and stuff. Never been more scared in my life. I was yeah. like, "What's going on?" <laughs> oh I was like, God. "I thought you had to have a parent." Was this like freshman team? Freshman freshman basketball. Freshman team. Dudes had tattoos, and I was like, "What are y'all doing, bro? Damn, they Where are on. we? Man. Where are y'all we? Y'all want to lose? Got." Our stuff kicked in. <laughs> but like, how much? How much? This belt, belt the ass. What belt the ass? Pat, shut up, Pat, They man. weren't throwing them self alley oops or nothing. Where? No, nah, it wasn't that crazy. It was somebody dumped. just. They were just running the floor on us. We couldn't even keep up. Yeah, just, they'd be like that, bro. I understand. I promise you. We. Would, I just. I would check in. Hey, go ahead and get me out, coach. Two and a half minutes. I'm cool. Yeah. Just it was defeating. Wow. Didn't Dang. do it. No way. I couldn't tell my coach to take me out the game. I don't care if we lose losing by six. <laughs> I'm telling my head, keep me in. Keep he was going to get hit with a poster. He was going to go through the leg. 360. Boom. Dumped it on you, bro. I never forget. I saw Chris play basketball <laughs> when he was on that freshman team. He didn't play the whole game. He didn't even get a, he didn't even get a seat like on the bench. He sat on the floor. Kneeling on the ground. On the floor. He come in the game, get the ball in the corner. Quick. Turn. Heavily contested. Shoot a three. He's not looking at the rim. Shoot a three. Run back on defense and last as he walk and running back. 
Bro, freshman back. Bro was not serious at all, bro. <laughs> not, not a chance, bro. I was like five four, under under a hundred pounds. Really, just, just there to have fun. This is how was that, <laughs> bro? So I was not there to compete, bro. <laughs> not at all, bro. Oh, that is that's crazy. You said this was okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I promise you. He looking for us in the crowd. He catches the ball. Yeah. I think he hit the side of the backboard. <laughs> looks at us and runs back on defense. Yeah, I promise you, like I hit a game winner. I'm checking where the fans at, man. Hey, they, I bro. promise you, <laughs> bro. Hey, at least you had fun out there, bro. You had a little nah, bit. That's, that's, what it's, that's what it's really about. He's coach like, coach yeah. pat me on the back every time I got off the court. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, "This is it for you, son." Yeah. Yeah. Get two minutes. Get two minutes. <laughs> I knew my place on the court after that. After that freshman basketball season, I was like, "Yep, it's so, probably not." It's hey, not you, 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 more decent now for sure. I no, mean, I was, no, yeah, I grew. He just six two. Yeah, <laughs> he's trash. Yeah. Don't, don't That's give him crazy. that. Don't I will really, that. I'll don't give him that. <laughs> yeah, buddy. I'm like the closest first bro. step on earth. Um, talking about that reminds me of just like, well, just being complimented by a male because you know, like your coach, you know, what I'm saying like, "Good job," you know, maybe. They be grabbing, they be grabbing butt. <laughs> they be here for a while, bro. I'm not a fan of the patty butt thing, bro. said how close you are. I don't know how they, I don't know why that's even a thing. But like, it's just like sometimes, just like Duh. compliments from the same sex just feel a little just uncomfortable. So, <laughs> my question for y'all is, um, just like, how do you respond to getting complimented by another male? It's like, what do you say back to it? So like if somebody just like oh like what's up big guy like you looking strong like you know I said how would you how would you take that you know I said how would you handle that situation? It depends on the context. I feel like if you are at the gym, you know, and you lifting or something. Ah, at the gym is crazy. Don't compliment me. Why? Like don't do it. That's crazy. He's so why you looking at me? The bar, he's like, like, at good, me good stuff, big man. He's because like, just like, like that's not the that's just not the environment. Like Th- that's the that's the place where you. He said, I don't want to hear that from you. <laughs> 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 So you so you would just like look at him or something? I'd be like, "What's going on, bro? <laughs> yeah. you, you can't say that, not, not right now." Bro, just get to bro, just get to bro, just get to mug at him, bro. Like, Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be he like, said, "Not when the shorty's here, bro." Man. I think it just really depends too. So like, if it's at the gym, I personally wouldn't care. I'm like, yeah, you know, trying, doing my best. <laughs> but then like, if it's on like an Instagram comment, right, and I'm looking good, homie, drop like the tongue out emoji. <laughs> He's getting blocked. Just <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Like, it just depends. I feel so, like. so what if he send you like the 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 slime emoji or something like just on, like you just post the selfie? He just blocked. send you the slime. Wow, bro! Blocked. Even off the slime emoji, come on, bro. I, I guess too. It depends on like how cool we are. Okay. Like, he said, so if you, if he, he said if you're not really my slime, nah, bro, I don't care like, how close we are. You, you don't, be on my, I'm, bro, Xavier, don't be under my stuff like that. That's what <laughs> <laughs> you're not blocking Xavier. I'm not blocking him, but you another uh, another grown man putting a slime emoji on my post. Come on. What about uh, the fire emoji? You just drop, nah, a, you just drop cool. a, a fresh selfie. They just throw a fire that's emoji cool. on there. That's, on, that's cool. So what you how you respond to it? What do you text back? No, nah, I nah, send a fire back. back. <laughs> <laughs> you send a fire back. <laughs> it's a fire. It's a fire emoji back. So how do you respond? You just leave, you just go leave them on red. No, nah, I like it. So you, it on just, Instagram, the like is a heart. No, nah, that's fine. Okay. I'm so he said it's a small. It's a small. small cool. He said it's a small, small price to pay. No, I was gonna say it's a small heart. It depends too on who the person is. Okay. So again, if it's one of my homies, that's love. Somebody I don't know. Blocked. Okay. Golly, bro. Yeah. It's blocked. Hey, if y'all if y'all listening, y'all watching, bro. Don't like them. <laughs> don't go too crazy, bro. He will block you, bro. He will block you. Um it's it's um I'd probably be like, yeah, man, like I appreciate it. I, I ain't I ain't gonna go too crazy off the off the comments, but I do understand that some context can be a little, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It can Just be very a little, hazy. You know what I'm saying? But generally, you know what I'm saying? Um, Cause I ain't gonna lie, like if somebody's, you know what I'm saying, got like a like a fire like shirt. I seen somebody at Spotlight who had like this fire um, ice cream billionaire boy sweater, and I was like, man, that's a that's a sweet sweater, bro. So 
I wouldn't, you know, I'm definitely the one that's probably like saying a compliment or doing something like that. So, but it's like a selfie though. It's just, it's just like that's shoulder, the crazy shoulder oh, like a, up, shoulder up, shoulder up selfie. <laughs> like you can't do that. I feel yeah. like that's like you cannot do that. It <laughs> like it's not an outfit. Can't. It's not shoes. It's not outfit. No it's shoes. Just, it's just, just, it's just, just straight, face. just straight, straight face. Just straight face. face. Oh, gee. That's <laughs> this is just straight face, bro. <laughs> that's looking at me and saying that. Example. It's so crazy. I can't admire another man's smile. All right, bro. <laughs> he, said, he said, bro, cheese it. He said, bro, your smile is really nice, bro. He Radiant. Said, bro. Radiant. What kind of Two Face you He said, I'm almost about to delete the app at that point. I got to. Got to. He said, I almost <laughs> got to delete the pet. That's what I said, bro. I was very confused. So I just asked somebody, I was like, like how should I respond? And like, honestly, I wouldn't. I Wait, what they, what they leave? What was the comment they left? It was just a fire emoji. And like, you know them? Yeah. How close are you with this person? Like, we ain't talking like three years. Oh, yeah. Like, Brody tripping. <laughs> Stay away from him. Yeah. Three years is crazy. I throw a prayer hand emoji or something, bro. A prayer hand emoji, okay, type shit. And like y'all don't even like check in incrementally, like just like just he just dropped up and just yeah. like once in the last five years. Chris said he been building up the courage to post this clip. He talked about three years, y'all. He spoke. He been waiting for the right. He been waiting for the right pick at the right. Time, bro. When you post it, like, <laughs> like really sit back. And like you about post, that, post sit there. You post it, <laughs> bro. That's what I was just asking because I thought maybe I was being a little irrational. You posted nah. that joint so right at curious. five o'clock, bro. <laughs> right in the evening, bro. So we could be like, I'm just on my phone. You know, <laughs> <laughs> I just happened to, you know, what I'm saying. You ever been on it? But you post the selfie at like eight nine p.m. It's like okay, bro. You, <laughs> you, you, like you get a little, you get a little what close. Somebody bro. was like, first comment, first like on your on your, on your picture. Same buddy. Or he put first. <laughs> yeah, he put key comment first, bro. Mm, no, <laughs> comment. bro you always got to delete. You go delete I, the comment. If I get the wrong comment under a picture, I delete the whole picture. Oh, I'm quick to. Quick. The whole picture? The whole picture gone. Yo, it's your most fired picture you ever took. It is gone. The comment for sure gone. <laughs> Removed. <laughs> Flag for... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Flag for, uh, <laughs> for harassment. Harassment. They harassed me. Blocking report. Man, hate speech. <laughs> Blocking <laughs> report. He said, I want their email erased, bro. Oh, me. Get rid of that Gmail. I need the count. I need the count taken down. <laughs> Kyle, he said, I need, bro, they need no more access to this application while I'm on it, bro. Dad, um, your Instagram must be a wild place, bro. No. Like, that's it, what's going on. No, bro. It's really not. I was just, I was just wondering just how would people respond in that, you know, in that circumstance. But, so yeah, like, I, I wasn't tripping, though. No, nah, <laughs> no, for sure no. not. No, okay. No, 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 that's crazy. Yeah. They kind of go off like the hate speed thing, right? So, I kind of want to ask y'all. What? No, 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 you don't understand. <laughs> What's like the craziest straight y'all didn't ever caught? And meaning, so I'm gonna give y'all an example, right? It's ninth grade. I'm in the coldest South Pole outfit. Fire. South Pole's in it this time. I'm a little older, y'all. South Pole's in it. What year grade. is this? 2010. So listen, 2010. You was in what grade? I was in ninth grade. Okay, got so it. so I'm in the cold South Pole outfit. We at the lunchroom table. Soldier Boy just dropped 2008, going crazy. Bro. He had, he owned the city. He owned every city at that point in time. <laughs> Two dudes at the table start arguing. Uh-huh. They crusty dust. Da, 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 da. One of them look at me. At least I'm not wearing South Pole like this man right here. <laughs> All right, just got myself and left. Bro, left the left the table, bro. Table, bro, what you own, bro? The, <laughs> like what? And the worst part was is that like. You know, that was my clothes for the year. So I had to rock it out with the South Pole for the rest of the year. This is the beginning of the year. So what's kind of like the craziest straight y'all never caught? Man, I got to think. Facts. <clears throat> As of recently, I feel like it's all from your fiance. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> Let's give, give this as an example she, of a straight. Sequoia be trying me, bro. She be acting like I'm irrational. I don't make smart decisions and stuff. <laughs> I feel like... I'm one of your more sound friends. You are, <laughs> but that's also not saying a lot. Xavier in my friend group. <laughs> God, okay, wait. that's yeah, that's fair. <laughs> <laughs> that's but not, Chris, you one of the smartest dumb people I've ever met in my life. See, that's what I'm talking. about. I get caught that a lot too. But no, he is. Whenever Chris is not in school for more than two hours, brains out the window. You're not lying. It's rough on a break. I. My brain be shutting up. Hey, I understand, bro. Because you be thinking thinking so hard, so intentionally. When it's time to relax, you just decompress. You just let the the sales out. (laughs) Bro, I'm... Hey, I'll be on that same time sometimes. Not to your capacity, though. The shoe thingy earlier was crazy. Uh, Bro. I would have knew that he was actually... No, because you you had to think. There was a lot going on. The TV was on. No. Marcellus was in the corner, half behind the wall. I I held up some shoes. Hey, Chris, these fire. These real fire. 
Shoes are up to my head. What are you talking about? I don't know anymore, buddy. Tell I don't know what else it could be. <laughs> Tell us about the glasses, it's bro. Been a the, long frames, day, man. the frames. The frames are. Been a long time. <laughs> 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 I had glasses today, bro. Right. Oh my god. But uh, the craziest stray you done caught, John? You got one? Nah, I'm trying to think. Y'all was man. just cooler than me, then. I didn't got plenty of strays in my life. Man, it's kind of crazy. I, I've definitely got some, but I'm trying to know what like. I'm trying to just remember in context that somebody really just actually hurt my feelings, like Bro. versus just like just saying something stupid. Um, um, shoot, you really I, that cool? Is that I, I, I can't say that on camera, but I was <laughs> Chris, Chris gave me a mean straight like two like parties ago that you had at your little basement. Oh, I did. Yeah, I tried you to. just saying crazy stuff. I'm just like, bro, this is insane that you are accusing me of this. Um, Hot but, seat, man. Man. Ah, that game's terrible. That's a terrible game. Terrible. I would never play that again. See, um, that's, that must be a generation thing. No, for sure. Yeah. We played, we play like, never have I ever. Now y'all just on the whole, just hot seat. I'm finna actually, Bro, exactly. every game these kids play now is freaky. I don't know what it is. <laughs> every game, yo generation play, every card game, it's no more Uno. It's get naked and play Uno. I don't know what it is. Man, Just play some normal games, bro. When, when sexy red is your influence, and then even like bow, bow, you're killing bow, me, bro. Bow, bow. <laughs> he talking about these games, so <laughs> these games freaky. Is that's a real, like, that's a serious thing. Though. It's a real epidemic, man. Like, does music have too much of a like of an influence on us now? Like, I'm. It's pretty bad. It it is, and I feel like it always has even been a thing. So like even like think about the nineties. Like everybody, that's back when when the suave, smooth nigga was in. Everybody was trying to be, you know, singing and wearing like you know like silk yeah. shirts and stuff like that. Like that's that's just what it was. But it's like now at this moment in time, it's like the two most popping sounds of music is gonna be trap and whatever sexy red do. <laughs> but. <laughs> That's really just all it is. It's like it's either gonna be twerk music or it's gonna be like thug music. So it's just like kind of like that's the only vibe that the music is giving, primarily. You know, at least in our demographic, where previously like, yeah, this is just the most like just heinous activity type of music that has been invented. You're but, not lying. Um, I'm a victim of. It. I mean, there was kind of a lot of that. You know what I'm saying? Throughout each generation. You know what I'm saying? Like, but like but soul jazz. I just think R&B. where 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 um. Uh, what's the word I'm thinking of? Like we're exposed to it a lot more, yeah. you know yeah. what I'm saying, Especially than we probably were. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think I think that kind of plays like a part in it. Um, because I think the messages really are a lot the same. Get money, but they're just kind of like told in different ways. You know what right. I'm saying? Romance figures in your bank account. That's really all they've been talking about since the beginning of the time. Ain't nothing new under the sun. No new friends. No, no new friends. No, no, no. I went to Neiman Marcus last weekend just to go buy a pair of purple jeans because that's all baby trying to talk about in the song. Come on, man. Right. That's, that's, he was at the register. <laughs> he was like, where, what am I thinking, If I ever bro? see you wear some purple jeans around me, I'm roasting you, bro. Don't ever wear I ain't no got no business spending that kind of money on some jeans. I was happy to do it. Hey, I'm this a victim, is, bro. Hey, that's what I'm saying, bro. And I understand, bro, because I remember it, it's it's two sides of the spectrum. You know, I say you finna catch strays, or you gonna do a lot to prevent the strays from you being caught. So it's like bullying. Wait, really did you mean like literal like purple jeans, or did you nah, mean like like, like the, the brand, pol- like the polo? No, nah, the brand purple jeans. Uh, oh, type deal, yeah. type yeah. deal. Too too rich for my blood. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What I was finna say? Um, stray, stray, stray. Just like oh um. Yeah, I think okay, this is one. It's either I got caught fat or I got told never to grow my hair out again. Crazy. One of the two. Insane. But I think it was yeah. So I was um I think Matt had just got his hair done. Like he had just got like a a twist up or something or like his he had you know he had the big super yeah. large fro or something like that. And then I had just got a haircut. Like, I have pictures of, of us in the OC this day, like, that this took place. Like, <laughs> it was a funny day. But then, um, they was talking about Matt, like, oh, my God, like, your haircut looks so nice, blah, blah, blah. And he's like, yeah, it's like, you don't need to grow out your hair no more. Like, you need, <laughs> you need to keep your hair short. I'm like, how did this even get on me? Like, I don't know. That's the part and of the one, story, bro. I don't even care if you even think my hair look good or not, honestly. So, you really should shut your mouth. Did well, you I was just back like, out after that? Yeah, I mean, my hair grow right now. They, they, like at that time, it was like my. Wait, that's what it was. Uh, it, it was like Chris length hair. Mm. Yeah, so it's like usually I would keep my hair. Well, I just cut my hair for the first time around that time to like you know a two, yeah. where normally I'm at like a five or six. So yeah. yeah, they're like, yeah, don't grow out your hair no more. Like that, not look good on you. I'm like, 
That's crazy. After complimenting this thing of Matt, you just chose violence. <laughs> I'm like, wow. <laughs> I understand. Bullying will change your life. Hey, I'm saying. Turn the screen off, please. <clears throat> yeah, it's, it's not a real thing. Cyberbullying's not real. Go ahead and turn the screen off, bro. <laughs> turn the screen off, bro. It's not real, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Social media is not a real place. It's bro. not. You can't even sit here and say it is. Like, really. It but is. it feel like it, though. I ain't going to It lie. do feel like it. Yeah, and then it, like, it does hold a lot of weight. You know, it, it could. Some people have social media jobs. That's yeah. True. Shout out to them. Some people, like, ye, like people, well, my friend, uh, my friend, little brother Devin, he's like a junior in high school or senior in high school right now. And I'd be calling ye the TikTok artist. And he's like so mad. He's like, ye is not a TikTok artist. <laughs> I'm like, he's a TikTok artist. He's like. There's no such thing as a TikTok artist. He's an artist. He makes music. And I'm like, so his song just happened to be on TikTok. Yeah, and that, he just go at me. And I'm like, I understand what you're saying, but this is not a good song on any other platform. I don't care what oh, you tell sure. me. And then now he's like, oh, ready to lose it. <laughs> you're not listening. Yeah. And I'm just like, bro, I'm sorry. He said, but, it's not for me, bro. <laughs> I can't get into it, yeah, bro. He's like, your, your brain is just not opened up enough. Like, basically, I was just like, all right, Devin, whatever you say. <laughs> but yeah, like, it is crazy just how much it does have a hold on us. Because I'll be thinking every day, like, our podcast aside, you know, Twitch aside, go make sure you watch the Twitch, man. Because we really, we we staying consistent. Like, we not leaving. We can't reiterate. We, we got to reiterate We trying that. to make something out of this. I don't even want to be on the camera no more. But I will be depriving y'all of such a great experience with the podcast. So we got to be here. But, um. Yeah, I'd be thinking, like, could we ever just go back to not having as much access to information as we do currently? But it's like, if you did that, like, you would just feel like a, a Mormon? Ain't that what they call it? Like, ain't they, like, live, like, very minimalistic, like, existences or the Amish? Amish. Amish. Yeah, Amish, Mormons, got, like, Mormons got, like, Mormons got a lot of wives. Yeah, nah, Mormons got a lot of wives. They got, like, four. That's more of a religious sect. I'm sorry, I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. I thought it was the Amish. Shout out to our Mormon fans, bro. <laughs> if, you're turn, if you're tuned in, we appreciate you. Soaking, yeah, soaking. <laughs> if you're hey, soaking, hey. soaking. Shaking yeah, the bed. Great. Right. <laughs> but, uh, Shout yeah. Shout out BYU, man. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> you know that that guy? This is probably a little off topic. You know that guy, like the guy who founded like, uh, Mormonism, thinks if you're black, you're like, nah, you get in heaven. I'm not. You got to have whiter skin to go in, to go in uh, heaven. That's heavy, bro. I need to hear some facts. Yeah, that's, like, that's why, like, why, why is that the case? There were, on, dead, on the total opposite end of the spectrum, that's on, uh, on Facebook today, somebody had put on there that was like, um, if you still have a Caucasian Jesus hanging on your wall, that's demonic or something <laughs> like that. I was like, that's a little extreme. Like, oh, you're going look crazy. Right? <laughs> I don't know demonic, bro. Yeah, but, I don't you know, know how you can associate Jesus and demonic in the same sentence, but like. That's the second on Facebook. That's the second on Facebook, bro. It's a different place, man. I would say that's a different. That's world, a that's bro. a real place, bro. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> it's like, I can't stress it enough, bro. It's so funny, bro, because I love Saginaw so much more when I'm not there. Yeah. Like I love it harder than anybody. Like, but then when I be home, like I be talking to people, I be like, man, Saginaw is not a real place, and they be like, it shouldn't be. Like this is crazy. <laughs> this is the different way, bro. World, bro. <laughs> but then as soon as I step one foot out of that city line, I'm like, man, it's the best place ever. Like I couldn't imagine being from anywhere else. That's so crazy. Yeah. So maybe cool. because you know when you're outside of it, you know you have the context to be like, if somebody asking about it. You know, you the you the expert. You oh, like me. shoot. I can I can talk I can it up take as much. You there. I can, exactly. Yeah. I can talk it up as much as I want. All that, bro. Hey, so look, we got a river. Come on out, and we got a bay. You got both mm. of them. River um, into the bay. Into the bay, but the bay and the river and the county all named after us. Come on now, hey, see, like, how could we lose? That's powerful, bro. Yeah. Only time I really caught us, I've caught a stray off off some music, bro. For okay. sure, very <laughs> early on. Go? Very early on when I was um. Working on songs, man. Shout out to SoundCloud. I would put my songs and my first little project I put on there. Um, when I was playing it, like some new song. I don't even think it was that project. It was like a new song I worked on with my cousin. Shout out Kamal, man. Tune into his spotlight. You know, it's probably the first, it's still, I think, the first bit that we had. But, <laughs> bro, I be I still be hearing stuff about that video, bro. Um, <laughs> played it for him. I mean, I guess I caught two because the first was because I was using some auto tune 
and they were just like yeah like i'm not you know what i'm saying what's up with like i don't understand why people be kind of try, try to frame it like i don't know why people be using what i was like all right but then you know was asking about the song i was like yeah it's just on my soundcloud and at this point you know you got apple music and stuff distro and like distributors weren't like a super big thing at the time where you know you see people now just put all their stuff out she was like yeah you know this would be a lot better or something like you you know like real artists put their stuff you know on streaming something like that bro. Yeah. i was like bro i just try to play you this song <laughs> I, had, I had asked for all of that bro you ain't got to tell me about the distribution bro we gonna worry about that later only major distribution what bro this and soundcloud crazy. wasn't even you know what i'm saying like you super like, like ad heavy i think even at that point you know it's it's gotten a bit you know it's it's shifted a bit but yeah man i was like i can't believe you're doing this to me now. <laughs> me yeah when i always say people people in their name or describe somebody who fits your exact <laughs> description and i'm just like all right like now you just like sidestepping it like you might as well just say it to my face like yeah because you really heard of me um speaking of soundcloud this is kind of off topic again i was downtown last year for my brother's birthday and we was walking back to the parking garage a crackhead walked by and was like my sound number 10 on soundcloud right now I'm about to smack the fuck. I'm about to smoke the fattest crack rock I can find in my life. I said, "All right, I gotta go home, bro." <laughs> you ain't asked what the check, song was. I was gonna say no, you didn't check for the nah, song. Nah, I would have at least asked this song. It's top ten. I could find it. I'm cool. But now he's just top ten. It's on SoundCloud right now. This is last year. I'm gonna smoke the fattest crack rock I can find. Hey. <laughs> my man Sammy has. He told me he was like, "Hey, bro, you should be able to learn something from anybody." And I was like. That's the craziest thing I've ever heard. No, for sure. <laughs> Some people, yeah. you can you cannot <laughs> take advice from them. You, to... If you learn something from them, it's definitely unintentionally. Like, Or you're definitely finding the 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 gym in the haystack. But I was going to say, couldn't you learn from their mistakes, though? Or be like, yeah, you know, from a ca- perspective that, of like, what, you know. What's unintentionally, like, they didn't they didn't do this for you to learn from their mistake. This is yeah, what I mean, they, they might have been wild enough to do that. you chose to... No, no, I mean, that a lot of people that ain't don't do crack. Hey, like, who knows, bro? I don't do no crack tonight. Man. <laughs> I'm saying, bro. Yeah, that's, he that's was putting that to you, you know what I'm saying? He did crack for all of us not to do it. He, he was like, you, well, if, Mar- hey, if, been, if Marcellus had been, you have some more, he'd have been like, eh, you Wrong messed answer. up, bro. Like, you who are you it. supposed to turn it away? He's like, I don't even smoke crack, bro. I'm going back to my mansion, bro. I tried to teach you something, bro. You weren't listening. And my song is 10 on SoundCloud, bro. It was, bro, it would have been crazy. Like what's like the like the largest urge you have? What to do? Something? I've never heard an urge to smoke crack. I obviously. <laughs> so that's what I'm saying. Like what what do you have the biggest affinity for in your life? Because that'd be your closest example to what that could feel like. So what is like the thing that gives you you know the most consistent urge? It could be playing video games. It could be watching a certain TV show. It could be on your phone. Like what is like the biggest like thing for you? I'll probably say the desire to sleep. Like, if they want that the way that I desire to sleep, man, like, GG's. Like, I understand. Because that's yeah. crazy. I see it, man. I'm so excited. The desire right. to, like, do nothing? Just sit? Just sit and do nothing? Aimlessly, yeah. Yeah. Just waste time? <laughs> <laughs> I, I promise you, I will go, I'll get off, I'll, walk, I'll go drive home from campus, I will sit in my apartment for just two hours. <laughs> Just lights He's off. looking at the one. <laughs> just, like, I'll just sit there. Are you alright, bro? I'm bro. Just yeah. update. Bro, bro, just update, bro. Just sit there. Hey, it's I, nothing. I don't need no sound. Nothing. I'll just be like, all right. <laughs> I gotta reflect <laughs> on the day. That's insane, bro. I'm t- I be getting beat down on campus, bro. It'd be a battle, figuratively. 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 We'll be beating you down, man. If it was, it's too much work, bro. This is too much. I gotta walk. Classes. What? I mean, that bro, camp is the fat. Is that camp is that giant. Camp is that camp is fat, bro. Bro. I'm telling you, bro, <laughs> camp is big as ever. Like five miles a day. It's horrible. Hey, yeah, staying fit. But you don't even got to go to the gym and do cardio. It's just built in you. Bro, Four years yeah. in, though, this should be normal to you, though, I feel like at this point. Ah, year yeah. one don't count. Ah, at home. You're right. Have you have you seen Michigan State campus? Yeah, I've been up there a couple times. But have nah, you actually tried to go all the way around it? Nah, no. Like, when I, um, I know John been there. Yeah, he has to be there. So I only went twice but one of the times that i went it was literally to like visit it before i decided whether i was gonna go there or not freshman year i mean uh senior year of college so i literally parked you mean senior year of high school yeah senior year i was gonna say so, what? so <laughs> i say about transferring <laughs> <laughs> no i sat and i parked on one end of campus and i walked from the other end and back 
Mm. The parking that I got was for two and a half hours downtown or like the East, like East Lance or whatever. East Lance, huh? So I parked somewhere, got two and a half hour parking. By the time I walked the hour and 40 minutes the other way, I accepted that I wasn't going to make it. <laughs> and I had to turn around and just barely made it back to my car before the parking ended. It was waiting. They was like, "Ooh, you tried to go all the way down and come back." <laughs> yeah, We've seen a lot of people try that, bro. Oh, you you could be anywhere in fifteen minutes. That is not the case. Like, you know what? I can't really talk. I was lazy at OU, bro. And I'm saying you were, didn't even <laughs> want to go to class there. Like bro, class I was, right there. I, was, yeah, <laughs> right. I have a class. At we was one. privileged, bro. Bro, for sure. I had a class at one in South Foundation, bro. And I would come look for ten minutes for parking. Couldn't find. I just drive back home. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't worth that. I'm not, bro, I'm not fighting for parking. But anyway. people know about the OU parking, bro. It's been it it's dangerous. been tragic <laughs> forever, bro. You knew you had to leave early for class to get there on time. Oh, and I would never do it, bro. I would leave on time to be late. And when the crazy thing is, is I just walked across the street. I could walk across the street. Nah, I just went home. <laughs> I just yeah, you worse than him, bro. At least he decompressed it after the activity. You <laughs> yeah. just gave up. Just, I didn't have to decompress. <laughs> I wasn't in the class. It's a great time. Man. I'm glad that Burger King make my stomach hurt. So, but he crit. ordered a fish sandwich from Burger King. Man, <laughs> shout, out BK, <laughs> shout out BK, man. Have it your way, man. Hey, sponsor but us. But I got the fish sandwich eating. from Otto's. So. Yeah, that's crazy, Zach. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. You can't even sit here and say your stomach hurt. <laughs> oh, my stomach. <laughs> killing me right you didn't now. Even get a burger. Like, huh? that's wild. Like, not getting a burger is crazy. I got two of them. It's not fish, fish King, it's Burger King. <laughs> you ate both of them? I ate uh, three of them. Uh, <laughs> what? You got three? But I ain't eat today, bro. I was hungry. I'm not gonna lie. This is worse than when you found that Burger King crown in my car. Hey, no, it's not. Wait, no, what? <laughs> bro? We driving. We driving on. We was on East Lansing. We was on uh, MSU campus. We driving on campus, and I look in the back seat. It's just a crown. And I was like, bro, how you get this crown? He was like, I go there so much. They just gave you the crown. Uh, That's insane, he's, bro. He's the Burger King. There was a solid month and a half where it was literally Burger King, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday night. That's wow. disgusting. Hey, like, you, can, I would you dirty food. bulking over there. Bro, <laughs> I would have food at the crib, too. Oh, like, that's insane. Home cooked meals. You was just, <laughs> I wish I could you just feed it. Bro, bro. <laughs> you was just feed it for it. You <laughs> was at the <laughs> crib. You looked in the fridge. You was like, dang, bro. <laughs> Where them nuggies? Oh, <laughs> same order. Every the chicken time fries time just came back. <laughs> hey, them boys fuck. <laughs> <laughs> hey, go <laughs> lot. Hey, it's regular, bro. <laughs> Where were you about to This should be something to me, man. Oh my gosh. Yo, uh, topic. Oh, okay. So I was like, I've been thinking lately because obviously I'm about to graduate. So I was like, how do you know where you're supposed to be at in life? Like, how do you like, how do you feel like I'm, I'm where I'm supposed to be? Um, this is kind of deeper for myself personally. Um, the way I think about it is, is that I'm supposed to be wherever I'm supposed to be at. What else is to be there? So I've never been like a planned person. I've never like, sat down, like, this is what I'm going to do, this is what I'm going to do it. For example, like, when I wanted to propose to Sequoia, I don't even know if she knows this, but I wanted, I wanted to propose to Sequoia. I was broke. I didn't have no money, right? Prize picks, bless your man. <laughs> one, one engagement ring off prize picks. So, I mean, that, I remember you know. That. Yeah, yeah. So, I just feel like me personally, I don't play nothing. Crazy. And everything's worked what out the, great. What was the parlay? Yeah. It was, it, so really, I got lucky because I had to, like, a, uh, a season, a season long one, right? It was a five man, so all legs had hit, and two of the people got D and Q's because they were hurt for most of the season. So it just became a three man, three out of three legs smack. Take <laughs> Vesta boy. That's elite. That's powerful. Yeah, so I just feel like for my myself personally, you deserve an ad placement for that. I do. For real. I really do. At least fifty three minutes. <laughs> exactly. Use the Marcellus code at yeah, the bottom. What's the code? Yeah, shout out Price Picks. But even like Zach, the way had me think about it too is like, uh, just texted like talking to my mom about like what you were trying to do mm. or like what you wanted to get into. I just like, man, I don't. How do you figure it out? Um, well, that's coming from somebody who hasn't figured it out at all yet. Um, that's why, because I like I look up to like all y'all, and I feel like y'all figured it out. Like I feel like y'all got into. No, we nah, definitely out here. We definitely out here. Life, hey, we crawling through the finish line. And don't get me wrong, like even like I. Like, I respect where they at. Like, even, you know, like, my friends. Like, I have friends who I feel like are doing, like, good things that I could be like, wow. Like, you know what I'm saying? I would hope to, you know, be at that same point in life where I hope to be able to do something like that soon. Um, but, yeah, it's really just trying to be as um, intentional with your day. Just kind of, like, just being, like, aware of time and aware of things that you want to do. And then just telling yourself, like, am I 
am I somebody that I would look up to basically at this point in my life? You know, 10 years ago, like, am I doing the things that I claimed that I wanted to do at this point in time? Because as you get better, your goals for yourself are going to get better. Like even with the podcast, it's like when we first started, like if a 500 followers sound cool. Then you get 500 followers. Oh, I need a thousand. Then you get a thousand like, oh, I need 10,000 or I'm nothing. It's like you always going to keep pushing the bar away from yourself. So you got to try to like think like retrospectively and see like, you know, could I would I, would I be making myself proud? The person who I was talking to before versus like who you are now, because you're always going to want more. Um, But yeah, I still feel like a hey, hot garbage every day. I'll be looking at myself in the mirror. You ain't nothing. You ain't. Yeah. So it's those Burger King fish sandwiches you just ate. Yeah. Man, it's three, it's three, it's not, it's not no, and, no. This is a regular thing for real, but that's adding to it a little more. <laughs> <laughs> that's definitely heightening it. I'm really for the corner. I hate myself. Man, you know when you be on the toilet just with your pants off, shirt off, just <laughs> to fight the thing. <laughs> just down for him. Yeah. Um. So what was your what was your question? Like, how do you know you are where you're supposed to be in life? Um, I think it's just, um, I agree with what you said, Zach. And I think it's definitely like, kind of like how you feel about those things that you're doing or even like the work that you're doing. Like, even if you might have a job or, you know, you might be doing something else, like kind of, you know, you may be streaming, you might be, you know what I'm saying? Doing other content stuff, you know what I'm saying? Whatever it is, it's just like, you know. Like just like how you feel, like if you feel like good about what you're doing or feeling like it's something that is adding to your life or to the life of like your loved ones, you know what I'm saying? Um, Because I feel like there's a lot of like uncertainty. You could, you know what I'm saying, like be doing like all these things, like, you know what I'm saying? You might have graduated super like, you know, high in your class, you know, you might have had this crazy like corporate job that, you know, you're getting a lot of bread, but you know. You could still be like super unhappy or you might be just bogged down from that work. This type of work might have taken away from other passions or other things that you were, you know what I'm saying, that used to like really fuel your fire. So, you know what I'm saying? Is it really kind of worth all of that? So I think that's kind of like when you're feeling when you're constantly feeling that or feeling like, you know, when I'm doing this, like this feels, you know what I'm saying, like purposeful to me. I think that's when, you know, you kind of made it. That's real. Yeah. He. He the one to drink a dinner right there. I ain't gonna That's lie. the answer. Yeah. 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 But also, uh, I would say too, Chris. I would say just like enjoy the journey you want right now. Like nothing. I wish I could go back do and just is relive college because I had a great time in college. Like I love my life now, but college is like one of like the best experience. You want to go get your doctorate, so just enjoy the journey you want right now because one day you are gonna wake up engaged, house bills to pay. Kids, I don't got no kids, but kids running around. And Dalton don't stop. Bro. It's, it's punching in the gut so every you day. You got to enjoy what you're doing now. You living on campus. You living the life. Yeah. Enjoy yeah. that. Yeah. You don't get no more carefree. You ain't going to have two hours to <laughs> look at the <laughs> wall ever again. In it's over. You're going you gonna to be sitting there for that two hours. You're be like, dog, like, I could have been. <laughs> I could have been doing this, bro. Nothing. Like, that's a, you like, bro, I do nothing, bro. Yeah. No, I could have pulled, pulled that extra hour at work. I could have studied this thing, you know what I'm saying? Oh, man. Yeah, you're just going gonna, gonna to be constantly guilt tripping yourself about all the time that you spend and not doing the stuff that you feel like you got to do to maintain this persona or image or status that you have just spent all this time creating or dreaming about for so long. So, mm. yeah. That's real appreciate. Mm-hmm. But uh, I know you had one more. Did you have one more before we get done? We about at that time, huh? No, I'm cool. Yeah, what was the second topic you had, or did was it, it was just, it was the music thing? It was like, how does music influence? Like, I feel like it's a real like, how does it influence us? Oh, okay. Yeah, we didn't just look at. Hey, he segue since say now. I would he didn't al- came in here, threw that in earlier. Like, it was I would also there. say, with that too, I think while it's a lot of the same messages, I think the oversaturation of certain things has kind of desensitized us to certain things. Yeah. Yeah. Like, there's definitely like some hyper violent, hypersexual stuff. Like, we kind of hear and we just kind of like. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That otherwise, some other people, you know what I'm saying, that might be not tuned into that, might be like, oh my gosh, like this is, you know what I'm saying, this crazy as ever. No, I will say, like, if I'm in the car with my mom and I'm playing my music and she'll look over at me and she's like, this is what you listen to every day, it'd be a reality check. Be like, dang. You listen, you play your real music in the car with your mom? What you playing, Lil Uzi? 
Dame, Dame Dot. This is okay, so you, so you took it even further than I thought, bro. <laughs> nah, it's like she really just. Bella Kanana. Bella Kanana. I'm playing full albums this uh, year. Like, why, why is this what you play? This is what you need to get through the day? And I'm like. She hit you with that lecture, bro. Every time. Every time. Never fails. Dang. That's got to be some type of stray when you say something and then your parents just hit you with it. This is what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? Like crazy, you're all you're always playing around, bro. Like why don't you ever take something serious? You be like, bro, I'm just asking. Can we go to McDonald's after? No me. I'm <laughs> you just pick me up, bro. Like how the heck did we get here? Oh man. I wonder. I do wonder. Like so, looking at music from like the '90s, 2000s to now. To see how much it has progressed with like the street lifestyle and like the sexual and you know innuendos. I wonder how far it's gonna be in like twenty years from now. Like how do you progress from here? Because you already talking about you know everything. So like, I wonder how like, how how it will end up progressing. Like if it would be like just soft porn in the background of music videos or something. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, some songs <clears throat> just is straight moaning. Bro. <laughs> so then it's like I I do like this song, but I couldn't play this around my man's. I couldn't play this you around, play it around my anybody, home. bro. You know exactly because it's just it is some crazy. Okay, you're talking about the picture. It's like what happened? Your man's playing. Uh, yeah, so what your man's playing to do sexy red, bro? <laughs> as soon as you get in the car, like bro, like you gotta hear this. I don't know. Wasn't there an issue? Wasn't there a problem with this? Because I'd be playing R&B when people get in the car. And we, you, somebody we said, was like, we used to say, I feel like we said that about Taz before. But I'm like, you know, I like a little party next door. A little party next door. <laughs> yeah, party fire, for sure. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I say go with my whole I'm not going to be, you know, know what I'm car. saying? <laughs> what? <laughs> but, uh, I feel like R&B better than like, again, it's some of the stuff to be playing out. I feel like it's better than, like, bro. You can get away with music, though. I feel like it's like it's more lenient than like commenting on somebody's picture. Yeah, for sure. Me too. Well, that's fair. <laughs> yeah, I mean those two things are unrelated, but yeah. I was uh, what was I finna say? What was we just talking about before this? I know we were talking about music, but it was like, um, oh, how how far it can get. Um, yeah. With like, um, I feel like minimalism is always going to be kind of, I guess, like the end goal of most things. It's like when you've kind of done everything, it's just kind of like eventually you fade to minimalism and then the cycle kind of restarts. So then it's like maybe like this generation or the next one will eventually just burn out the hypersexuality to the point that it's not even the cool thing to do no more. So then it might get to a point where that's not even like on the agenda. I don't know, bro. It's It's always progressed. Like I know back in the day. Women couldn't wear like the one piece that showed like a little bit of cheekage, mm-hmm. and it was like bikinis. <laughs> the cheekage. Oh, yeah, you know, you know what I'm talking about a little one. I piece. know what you're talking about. They had to wear shorts, little boy shirts, <laughs> <laughs> and then you know now it's just like you go to the beach in a thong. So it's like I don't, I don't know and what the progression. Some people don't wear anything at all to the beach, depending on what beach you. That's that, that's what beach you be going to, John. Nah, <laughs> but, they, but they do exist though. In Florida, they're all over the place. So then it's like. The last think, beach I was on was in Miami. Uh, so so yeah, they're going to be like, it's fly, <laughs> flight in the mug to put on this big bathing suit because this is in style because nobody ain't on this. You know, yeah. They're just going to go the opposite direction again. So I think we at the peak of uh, looseness as, as it's going to get. I, I imagine it can't get any looser. Can't get any <laughs> looser. <laughs> <laughs> can't sure. get no looser. It's crazy word. But yeah, uh, the live studio audience, we're going to go ahead and wrap this one up, man. Yeah. It's been a great episode. Shout out my boys for coming on. I appreciate y'all. Of course. Um, make sure that you tap into um, the previous episodes. Uh, we had a couple references from a previous episode. I forgot what exactly it was. But hey, I'm going I'm to put it in the comments. So look for look for my comment in the comments and then respond to me. They're going to be on your picture, Zach. They hey, but don't be, but don't be on me. But don't be in my uh, don't be in my comments, please. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, Zebra signing out. Uh, Till next time. Yeah, Wavy J signing out. Shout out to our guests. Shout out Marcella. Shout out Chris yeah. for coming through. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Purple Y'all jeans. Have Shout out purple jeans. Shout out purple jeans. Shout out catching bro. strays. <laughs> next time I go to Neiman Marcus, I'm getting some purple jeans. I'm like, where the purple jeans at, bro? Uh, he an inspiration. I ain't gonna lie. On oh, me. So you know, continue to tap in with the Twitch. Tap in with the YouTube, like, comment, subscribe, share, tell your friends. 
uh, tell their friends, you know what I'm saying? Tell people, you know, that's not really your friends. You know, they can listen to it, too. Tell the bus driver. Tell the bus driver. Hey. You know what I'm saying? Why you playing your... Whatever Terrible playing, music. Whatever Why you, you rotting your brain? Oh man, exactly. Tell but. you, tell your kids if you got some. Sure, I don't care. Tell anybody. <laughs> yes, <laughs> Brad. Tell them all, Brad. But I'm out of here. Yo, just want to say thank y'all for having me on. It's been a long time in the making. Yeah, yeah man. I really appreciate y'all, boys. I love what y'all doing. Till next time. Yeah, no. Just a big shout out. Thank you for having me on. I appreciate it. Y'all, I like the work. Keep it up. Yeah, yeah man. Yes, sir.